Would you please welcome from Victoria, BC, Sarah Mariush. So this first song is actually a happy fado, and it's about a forbidden romance between Shiku the fisherman and Rita the fish seller. Uh, my name is Sarah Mareirish and uh, was born in Victoria and grew up in Portugal where my dad's from in Sagres. So I grew up speaking Portuguese and English and uh, spending a lot of my time in Victoria but a lot of time as well in the Algarve of Portugal. In Victoria we play Pagliacci's restaurant and usually Herman's Jazz Club every other month and occasionally some um, halls or like a, a special event that we organize in town. And um, other than that, I've really just been focusing on getting out there and playing at all the folk festivals and um, hoping to uh, start touring more of Canada. I wanted to sing it a long time ago. I grew up listening to it. And you know, Portugal is about fate and destiny and you're meant to do things or you're not. And they say, you know, you're a fadista or you're not. You either sing the fado or you don't. And I had, you know, I had the feeling to sing it quite a, a while back. But I tried and it was just after one song, it was just like, forget it. I, I was exhausted and just couldn't get to that deep connecting place. And then when I went to approach it again, it was like, okay, now's the time. It was just sort of like, I need to do this. It was very clear and, and it, you know, it was, again, it wasn't really a choice. It was like, okay, I'm doing this right now. Sarah is a, a musician from, from Victoria, and uh, she's a fado singer which is a style of Portuguese torch singing, basically. Um, and it's a style of music that, that's sort of taken the world stage over the last 10 years or so. As far as I know, she's the only true fado singer that we have in Canada. And uh, we're lucky enough that she lives on Vancouver Island. She's very good at what she does, as is her band. Playing up island was I really loved the feeling of community. I liked the uh, combination of musicians that were brought to the festival. I met a lot of really wonderful musicians and they have um, it set up really nicely in the back that you can sit and talk and socialize. And that was really exciting for me because you get the opportunity to meet these people and actually talk to them for a while and play with them. Um, so for me that was really a, a different experience as well as, as, as having a wonderful audience and stuff like that, it was wonderful to actually meet other artists and, and I love that whole experience of the, of the festival, so I really enjoyed it for that. Sarah's guitar player, Ken Hall, is a guy that I've had some musical history with in the past, and, and um, Kenny, I think, is probably one of the most under-recognized gems of the Vancouver Island music scene in, in terms of his contribution as a teacher and a musician. Um, he's covered a lot of styles over his career and continues to just be in it for the right reasons and, and play music in Victoria as much as he can in as many different situations as he can. So they're a very interesting group. In the next five years, I would like to be on a full festival circuit. I would like to do... <laughs> I would like to also be doing some festival circuiting in Europe. Portugal has um, tons and tons of festivals all throughout the summer. That's what I would really like to be doing. I, I love the connection that you make with people at festivals. I love that you get to meet the artists. I love that you get to meet the public. I sing because I love to sing and I'm meant to sing, but I sing because I feel that if I can create a space for someone, whether it's they need to laugh or cry or feel great for 20 minutes or not think for an hour, that to me is, is a fabulous accomplishment. So 
I would like to be doing a lot of festivals and I would like it to be in Canada and Europe. That would feel really great to me.